and that's why I don't have sex in the uh, apartment anymore. Wait a second. Ben? Yeah. But wait, we've been having sex in the apartment. What? Without me? No, with you. With me? I'm having sex with you in the apartment, and Brody's been filming it. Don't you remember this? Hey, welcome to the first episode of the Dropout Podcast. (laughs) Coming from you, not live, from my mom's living room in sunny Washington. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. (laughs) She's making us pizza later. She's so nice. What a nice, nice lady. It really is. Yes. So? So, Brody, tell us about your mom. Yeah. My mom's such a nice lady, but what's your mom like? She's pretty neat. (laughs) She is neat. She is pretty neat. That is true. She's fun to drink with. Yeah. (laughs) She's a good drinking buddy. (laughs) Sometimes, you know, you just got to get plastered with your mom. Sometimes, bro, you're just having a bad day. You come home from work and... Your mom's the door. She's got a bottle of whiskey in one hand <laughs> and a condom in the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's when I go to your mom's house, Ben. <laughs> I've told you this many times. It's not worth it. One of her tits is fake. Doesn't that make it better though? Like, I like to think that it gets the perfect. Have shape. you ever felt fake tits? They don't feel right. I like can't... they feel more hard and stiff. Okay, so this is the first conversation we're getting. This is going to be the this first. Is it. This is of this momentous occasion of this. Our first podcast episode, the first one we're talking about is Ben's mom's fake titty. Left or right? That's the big I question. I can't remember. It's one of them, though. Ben knows about it. She somehow. has like a plaster mold of them before and after. <laughs> it's like a, like a trophy like she one hangs of the, up. Like a baby handprint you yeah. get when your child is born. It's like a trophy she keeps hung above the, like the yeah. mantle. She's got a case going down to her garage. She's like, this is Ben's footprint. This is Noah's handprint. This is Madeline's handprint. This is my left nipple print. <laughs> I'm really proud of this one, especially. <laughs> <laughs> mommy's, mommy's thicky up front now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> but yeah, my mom's kind of psycho. I don't think it'd be worth it. No, if your mom ever finds this podcast, she will disown. God, I'm not telling her about don't it. Don't ever tell your mom. About I, this podcast. I think my sister knows about it, but she doesn't know what it's called, so it's fine. Yeah. Ben, your life is a comedy, and I love it. The fact that <laughs> I think it's fair to say that you're a a sexually Mysterious man. <laughs> mysterious. I'm a man Sexu- of mystery. He's a man of sexual mystery, if you will. Would you agree to that statement, would, Brody? Would you? I mean, I guess. I mean, you yep. should know firsthand. What does that mean? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Am I? Is there something going on that I'm not a, a I part know. of? Tell him, Brody. Yeah, there's nothing. We're getting married. <gasps> oh my god. When's yeah, the wedding? That's not happening. Oh, this is really awkward. I, ben, what? did you know? About I want a divorce. It's over. Oh, he's divorcing you now. never started. Oh, by I the call it a 20-second marriage. Enjoy <laughs> your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you we, made me poop without it? <laughs> <laughs> we got here, and Ben was like, we, it's a 30-minute drive to my mom's house. We get here, and Ben goes, oh, shit, I forgot my phone. I left it at the apartment. Can we turn around and drive all the way back for it? And I was like... You're fucking insane. There's no way I'm going to turn around and drive your happy ass back to the apartment. I so got poop with Twitter. I, I mean, I get what you're saying, Ben. I also have to poop with Twitter. But it's not worth it. I'm not going to drive 30 minutes back. And so <sighs> I walk out. I walk out. I walk it down. And Brody just out of his pocket pulls the phone and goes, his dumbass forgot the phone. But I got it. <laughs> going back a little bit to Twitter, Ben, you have some, uh, some interesting Twitter news. Yeah, tell us about your Twitter news from yesterday. Twitter news? Yeah. I now have not one, but multiple of my favorite porn artists following me back on Twitter. And if that's not what the point of Twitter is, I'm not sure what is. The best part is my mom is terrified of Twitter. (laughs) She'll never find it. She'll never find the the dubious porn you follow. (laughs) She she made Twitter once, got made fun of, and deleted it. (laughs) (laughs) You bitch, you titty fake. (laughs) Oh my god. Could you imagine, like, you come home. Yeah. And um, you walk in, and your, your mom's in the living room. Yeah. And you go, hey mom, how's your day? She's like, oh good, I made one of those Twitters you're talking about. I would freak out. I would grab my mom's phone and throw it out the window. Oh I, she god. does not, my mom is too innocent and nice and pure to be on Twitter. Like, Twitter would tear her apart. God, oh my god, like two weeks ago, my mom asked me what a meme was. Oh she no, asked that's... Me to, I told, I flat <laughs> told her, my sister's in the room, I told her, no, where's the fun in that then? <laughs> You're gonna ruin it for us. Yeah. <laughs> I delete all the memes off my phone now, mom, you've ruined it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Brody. Yeah. What's going on? 
How are you? How's no. the hemorrhoid holding up? Has the, has the cream been working? Um, I heard you spent all twelve hundred dollars of your stimulus check on cream. No, it's true. It's true. Uh, I found out actually that uh, a key component in the cream I've been using is gasoline. So the other day when I lit my cigarette, dries, I lit my whole ass on fire. Dude, dude. So are you saying your ass is it's fire? It's like Chipotle yeah. all over again. No, how dare or you? Big Mike. I don't even. Uh, what the you fuck want is, your ass on okay. fire? No, no. What the <laughs> fuck is Big Mike? Before, bi- what the fuck is Big Mike? It's Big Mike. You all know him. No, none of us know who that is. I've had him over a couple times. That if you want your ass on fire, you invite him. <laughs> 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 Bernie, what were you saying? I'm just ignoring this conversation now. I can't do this with him. Uh, Big Mike. I thought it was like a restaurant. I thought it was. I was yeah, going to bring up the fast food thing. Who do you think Big Mike we was? Do. Yeah, I thought that this was a fast food thing, and Ben just made it about him having gay anal sex. You guys dropped out of school, and I dropped out of my family's lives. Oh, yeah, so we should probably talk about why the podcast is called The Dropout Podcast. Oh, yeah. I, myself, attended community college for six weeks and went, mm, I think I'm going to take a hard pass, and uh, dropped right the fuck out of that. Brody, what is your dropout story? I uh, went to the same community college did. for a semester and then went, fuck this, and dropped out. Yeah. They told you didn't care enough. Yeah. Fuck them. And my parents hate the gays, so I kind of just dropped out of their life. They're that. That's that's what Ben dropped out. (laughs) Oh, so Ben, tell us about this uh, scooter you're fixing up. Or, I'm sorry, your motorcycle. You can't see the air quotes, but there's air quotes around motorcycle here. It's a 1993 uh, Honda Helix, also known as the CN250 or the Spazio. Um, It's... Okay. Technically, it's a maxi scooter. So, yes, it's a little scoot scoot. You'd see someone delivering pizzas. I was literally going to say, but if you want to imagine the scooter, imagine any pizza deli- delivery driver. It's literally just the scooter from Spider Man 2. Yes. yes. His pizza yes. delivery. Pizza time. It's a little bigger and it's got a trunk, but Ben looks equally as retarded riding it. <laughs> no, okay. It's, it's basically a motorcycle. It's longer than some Harleys, it's big, it can go 70. And it has a trunk. It's oh, more practical than a motorcycle. 70 miles per hour. Yeah. That's crazy. I think my car goes what, twice that, I think. Yeah. And uh, it's got windows. And I have windows. <laughs> and I have and a, a roof. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can always put a tarp over if that's what you want. <laughs> he cuts a hole in the tarp where the window is. So it's just a little slit. <laughs> right now, it's just a convertible. A con- yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a four-door. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ben, your so, motorcycle is... Um, it's a pain in my ass, that's what. Yeah, what, you bought it for how much? $700. Yes, yeah, super and Craigslist. Long, and how long did you ride it? I rode it for about two weeks, uh, and then it had an oil leak I didn't know about, and the engine blew up. <laughs> so I had to fully rebuild it, and oh my god, it's rebuilt now, but I'm having issues with the vacuum lines, it has a massive oil leak, it's just a shitload <laughs> of problems I don't want to deal with. Yeah, Ben called me, it was like 10.30 at night, I had... Recently become inebriated, if you will, <laughs> with some marijuana, as the as the police will say. Are as you the, a, are you doing the drugs again? I'm doing the drugs again. I hate when you I hate when you do drugs. <laughs> but Ben calls me and he goes, I'm like, oh hey Ben, what's up? Why aren't you home? Where are you? And he goes, oh, there's a jewel riding on the mo- motorcycle. I was like, oh that sounds like that sounds nice. And he goes, oh yeah, speaking about that, can you come pick me up? I'm in Camus. <laughs> the, motor, the motorcycle isn't working. I was like, Ben, I'll be honest with you. I can't drive right now. I'm not okay. But I'll call AAA for you. Then I was like, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Oh, my God. I felt so, I felt so fucking, bad. It starts snowing, too, on top of it. <laughs> I fucking pulled in a Chevron, parked it for the night. Oh, I know. It's had Washington to take an Uber State. back. It literally yeah. snowed, what, twice this year? And both one of those times <laughs> because you were stuck out there. Oh, and then, like, a, literally a week later, Ben's solution was, oh, I can't ride the motorcycle. I'll just ride my bike to work. Yeah. So Ben rode his bike to work. Yeah. And I get a call <laughs> at 8.30. <laughs> or, yeah, no, 10.30. Again, because you get off work at 10. Yep, 10.30. And um, uh, Ben goes, hey, so I got on my bike and the chain fell off <laughs> or the chain broke in half. Can you come pick me up? And I was like, Ben, this is getting this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> and so, the chain is still snapped to this day. To this day. What has it been, like four months now? And you're just like, eh, fuck it. <sighs> I was get by a new chain, but I was like, yeah, I want to support local business because I have a favorite like bike mechanic guy I go to. Yeah, but it's closed because of this stupid pandemic. Yeah, this virus, it's not quarantine isn't fun anymore. It just is, go bye bye. I know quarantine was fun for the first like two weeks or three weeks. Where I was like, oh, 
I just get to, I have an excuse to sit inside all day and do nothing. Yeah. That sounds awesome. And now that it's month two and I haven't showered in two weeks, <laughs> um, it's starting to become a problem. God, day <laughs> drinking Sean, has... just because it's the quarantine, you can still shower. Like, me and Ben still shower. What do you mean? I'm, tr- I'm immersing myself in the quarantine. I don't have to shower, right? You, you do have to shower. Wait, I thought we weren't supposed to... I thought one of the things is we're not allowed to shower. No, no, you can definitely do that. <laughs> also... It might help if you brush your teeth every once in a while. You kind of smell like shit, Sean. You <laughs> smell like straight dog shit. <laughs> well, that's because I've been uh, rubbing myself in dog shit. I saw on Reddit that it's a great cologne. And uh, I've learned also from Reddit that everything you read on the internet is true. It's true. It is. It is true. Ben can tell you. Ben is the aficionado of Reddit. I love Reddit. I use it a lot. I never post anything. I'm, I'm very antisocial. <laughs> but it's so much fun. I it's post- like... A big inside joke, but no one knows what the joke is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to describe Reddit. Going a little bit off course here. Do you guys know uh, the streamer Alinity? Yes, I heard that. That lady about who that. threw her cat. Yeah, and made the cat, the cat attacked, attacked her. I saw that on Reddit. The cat attacked her. The other day, she was streaming and she was like trying to like put a pillow under her shirt. I or saw something. that. Yeah, and she lifted up her shirt and revealed her entire nipple on uh, on Twitch. That'll get her banned. Yeah, it did. It did get her banned. I saw people were roasting her on Twitter for her nipple color. Yeah, I was Why, like, is it weird? I don't know. I haven't seen the video itself. Is it purple for all the beatings she gets? <laughs> what the fuck does that it, mean? It's an though? OnlyFans tier. You haven't seen it? What? What? What are you talking about? I don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I was reading the news this morning. Yes. As I do. As you can ad- read? Because I'm... Hey. <laughs> as an adult, I like to read uh, the news sometimes. And sure, sure. maybe smut. That is up for debate, Ben. <laughs> is it? It is up for debate. Okay, debate it. Debate okay, it. I don't... 60 seconds, go. Um, I wasn't in the debate club, so that's not fair. Mm. Mm-hmm. But let's get back to the topic at hand. Stop trying to change the subject on me, you guys, okay? This isn't this isn't my trial. I was reading the news, and it's... You know how... I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with, like... With this whole pandemic, a bunch of, like, docuseries have been coming out with, like, Tiger King and stuff like that. And to yeah. follow that trend, um, they released one about Michael Jordan. You know, you know who really? that is? He played for the Bulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays yeah. Bass Space Jam. Space Jam, yes. I'm so <laughs> space. I thought you know I was Shaq. <laughs> 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 okay, this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. But basically, I was reading a news article, and it, so, like, a bunch of stories have been coming out about um, Michael Jordan recently, about, like, stuff he did back in the day. And I saw one today about how he was offered, I think it was, a hundred, or it was, like, no, it was two million dollars to appear at a party for two hours. Just a, two million dollars appear at a party for two hours, and he turned it down. Wow. That's insane to me. I mean, If someone doing? literally said, hey, I want you to come drink and get fucked up for two hours, and I'll pay you to do it. Nah, I'm gonna stay at home with the kids. Yeah, bitch, I'll be there a heartbeat. Yeah, fuck the kids. I'll go to little Johnny's bar mitzvah. I don't care. Need to come to my little my son's bar mitzvah, please. (laughs) What if what if they switched it up on him? They were like, hey, we want you to come to this party. We'll pay you two million dollars. All you have to do is show up and hang out. Cool. What's the occasion? Oh, we're having a a a ghost party in the woods. (laughs) (laughs) We bought a bunch of bed sheets, so uh, you can't stay the night. (laughs) We're having a ghost party. It's going to be cool. We're going to have a big bonfire. It's going to be like Burning Man, but a different man's going to be burning. (laughs) Wait a second. (laughs) At that point, I think you just slow your roll, hit the brakes, stop, drop, and get the fuck out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Or just don't show up. Turn it down. Turn it like that. Yeah. But I get, I I mean, $2 million. For a KKK rally? Mm, Whoa, who said that? Just turn it into a YouTube vlog. They can get away with everything. If, if Logan Paul can go to the suicide forest and film a dead body, I can go to a KKK rally. And film it. <laughs> I think that'd be a pretty good social... We call it a social experiment. Yeah, that way I won't get in trouble. You can't get in trouble with a social experiment. Yeah. That's the rules. Yeah. That's YouTube law. That's YouTube law. You know, on the topic of this, I have a big notepad list full of KK members' phone numbes and emails I found on uh, on 4chan <laughs> once. <laughs> what the fuck is yeah. your problem? How so, long have you had those? Uh, Probably three or four years. And what have you done with them? Uh, sometimes I try calling them or I'll send them just random ass emails. But okay, really people not are going to actually think that we're like... Like, no. we're not, we're not, look, disclaimer, yeah, yeah, those we're are not, jokes. We, we are joking. No, this, I actually have a list. I can pull it up here. Okay, Pat, let's not do it. Let's, let's not do that. <laughs> we're not, we're not KKK members. Maybe a little sympathetic, but <laughs> I'm just oh my kidding. God. Course, I'm just kidding. Of course not. All right. I won't continue on it then. I see how it is. Oh, but speaking of topics of uh, stealing people's information... We could totally prank call them on an episode. (laughs) (laughs) 
I am a. Did I tell you guys that I have somebody else's social security? I used to have. I don't have it anymore. Oh yeah, wasn't that from like nineteen? No, no, no. I don't know. I know whose it is because you know social security numbers have their name. So I was walking. Wait, what was the number? <laughs> <laughs> I got it memorized. <laughs> but it was somebody's social security card, and I was walking through uh, Albertsons, which is a local uh, a retail store around here. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, and in the parking lot, just lying on the ground, was a social security card, and I was like, oh, I'll return this to them because that's the right thing to do as an American citizen. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I put it in my wallet and the name, I found them on Facebook and I texted him and I was like, do you need this back? Like, I, I, if I can find you and like give this back to you and he goes, eh, just burn it. And I was like, that seems irresponsible. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so for the last two years, until about two months ago when my parents pointed out that it's probably a crime, I've had this social security card just sitting in my wallet for God knows who know what. And I... Uh, God knows who know what. Can you not do this? With me? <laughs> Can you not? I'm under a lot of pressure right now, Brody, okay? And I don't need you coming on in here with your lies and your, your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then about two months ago, I shredded the thing because uh, it seemed like the right thing to do. Okay. And I can't go back to Can prison. we all agree? A paper shredder is the most fun you can have during quarantine. No, I, like, I You start agree. day drinking at 11 a.m. And you just get all like your newspapers around the house. And you just shred them. Ben, this just sounds ben, like you have a problem. That's not fun it's because so of the shredder. That's fun because you're drunk and you're shredding. It's so it's much fun. fun because you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's ben, so much fun. Ben, are we going to have to check you back into rehab again? No. Third time's the charm. That's what they keep telling me. I don't like it. I <laughs> promise I'll stop. <laughs> that's what they always say. Brody, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but he just again put his hood up and then tucked the little things behind his ears. He looked like a little goblin. <laughs> Is my best friend a goblin? I'd watch an anime of that called My Best Friend's a Goblin. Yeah, that's because yeah. you watch trash. How dare you? You're trash. You're trash. Yeah, you're kind of being trash right now, Brody. Uh, it, this is a democracy, and it's two against one. So mm-hmm. they're all in favor of Brody being a trash human being. Say aye. 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 Congratulations, you just elected to be president. What? No. Wait. No. I didn't read the fine print. No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> God. God damn it. Oh. Hey, at this point, anyone can be president. <clears throat> I mean, have you seen North Korea? They're okay. getting a Do you think conspiracy for- theory time? Yes. Is... Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, dead? Or is he alive? Mm-hmm. I think he's still hospitalized in critical condition. Yeah, I think he's in like a coma or something. I heard that he didn't even have the coronavirus the whole time. He just has an alcohol issue and a bunch of stress. And okay. let's be honest, if I was the leader of the free country, North Korea, yeah. the free, sorry, the free democracy, uh-huh. as they call it, um, North Korea, I would be a little stressed too. You know, you got America just breathing down your neck, trying to take all your... What does North Korea have? Like, what is North Korea's extra slaves? They have an angry baby as their leader. (laughs) You're going to get a shot. I don't give a shit. You think North Korea is going to listen to this shitty ass podcast? (laughs) The next thing you know, a red dot that appears on your forehead. (laughs) My mom comes out of the room with a gun. Check out his bindi. (laughs) (laughs) My mom's out of the room with a gun. What are you saying about the supreme leader? (laughs) Yeah, actually, that's a little known fact I never told you guys. My mom is a. uh, a, uh, North Korea uh, sympathist is that the word or sympathizer. Sympathizer. sympathizer? Thank you. What does that make Kevin? Kevin, a whole lot mean? fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Bad taste. <laughs> uh, well, other than that, I, so this is how the rumors came out about like Kim Jong Un and whatnot. So China sent some doctors from China to North Korea. They didn't say why, but they were they leaked info back yeah. to their contacts in China. Sure. And then it got posted around on what's their Facebook called again? It's it's not VK, that's the Russian one. I can't I, can't <laughs> I have remember. no idea. Okay. It leaked out and that's how we <laughs> heard about it. I think he's still in a hospital. I think he's gonna die. He's gonna I, die. I, don't I think, think he's he gonna is die. dead. And no, no. if he does die, how long do you think it's gonna be before we find out? No, we'll never find out. Really? I like to think that they'll just say he retired in like ten years when he's been yeah. He's be dead the whole time. I think they'll go religious with it. I'll say like his he's time ascended has to heaven. Yeah. Do you he's think this will be the heaven. third weekend at Bernie's movie? Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they just they attach just... him to strings. <laughs> he's just a puppet up on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? His his little his uh, sister comes out and she's like she's got like his arm like slung around his shoulder. She's like, "Hold on, like the supreme leader Kim Jong Un has a message to say." He's like moving just his waves. mouth. He's got sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> like, his head's just going up and down. His hands going everywhere. It's like a Muppet movie. 
Yeah. Oh, Would you watch a Muppet movie? Of North Korea? Of North Korea. Can Absolutely. you imagine the interview with Seth Rogen and... They're all Muppets. But they're all Muppets? <laughs> I would, I would, well, I would argue. I'd go a step further. Yeah. Could you imagine watching every James Franco movie, but Ooh. every James Franco role, he's a Muppet in the movie. But Everybody everyone else is, is normal. Everybody else, and... every, the whole movie is completely the same. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the acting's about the same. Who's J- is James Franco? Is that the one I always is with Seth Rogen? Yes, yeah. he's the one with the black curly hair. Oh, okay. he's kind of. Does he have weird. a brother who's hotter? <laughs> Dave Franco. Dave yes, Franco? Dave Franco is a stud. Or is it James Franco? What one's hotter? That's objective, Ben. It depends oh. on your taste. <laughs> I think we gotta look this up. I think we need to take a little poll I think we here. need to do a poll right here. A We're three doing person a poll. poll. We'll, we'll yeah. all vote. And everybody else can tell us what they think as well. Oh, yeah. I'm what? abstaining. You're not abstaining. You're gonna vote. You're gonna vote, Brody, because if you don't, then it could be a tie. And if it's a tie, what do we do? That's a good point. I, yeah. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> this question can never be answered. This question will just haunt you for the rest of your life. Oh, it already does. Every single day I wake up and go... Which one's hotter? Oh. <laughs> Which one just, I need to know. I need it, to know. I feel like it's like a it's like it's like a theory almost. It's like the Franco theory is what I'm going to call it. Is it the younger one or the hotter one? That's is it is it experience that makes it hotter? Him hotter or is it age? Is it blonde? Oh, Dave or Franco is, it, is way hotter. Oh right. my god! Take a look at the two. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. But no, Dave Franco. I don't know. Dave Franco looks like the kind of guy. Who had run into a frat party and he wanted to tell me about how I need to join the frat, join Sigma Chi, <laughs> and I just would not care. James Frank, on the other hand, looks like he'd sell me shrooms. Shrooms are cool. No, Dave. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll swallow his kids. Wait. A second. <laughs> Brody, who Brody, is what it? About you? You're a tiebreaker. Brody, you're the tiebreaker. You are the tiebreaker. James or Dave? This is. I just can't decide. You got whatever. Pick. You have to pick. Come on. Fine, Dave. A- ha <laughs> ha! Oh come on! What, Dave? How? He's just hot. He has the better hair, better jawline. He has better eyes. James Franco just looks like he smoked too much pot in high school. And now he's like a general manager at Arby's. No, Ben, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he kind of does look like the manager at our Arby's near our house. He does. He does kind of like the one who gave us the free uh, milkshake. Dude, shout out to that guy. Arby's isn't that bad. It's Dude, I always hated Arby's growing up. And then oh, like yeah. I had it recently and I was like... I'm thinking Arby's. I'm thinking Arby's. I'm kind of thinking some Arby's. All right, tier list of fast food. Okay, let's okay, okay let's ooh. let's take a list of the fast food that's in our area. Okay, and let's rank them. Or Ben, open up a doc. On your open computer. up a doc on your computer, and we're gonna we're or gonna actually rank. you could probably go to Chrome and Chrome and find like an extension for the uh, actual tier list. Yeah, we should. Oh, I can pull up a website for it. Yeah, pull up a website and we'll we'll uh, rate. I don't and, have uh, the Wi Fi. We'll tear it up. Oh shoot, that's all right. We'll just write it down in the book. I have Xfinity Wi Fi. I fixed oh, it. Oh, there we go. Shout out to X- Can we get a shout out to Xfinity real quick? Woo. Woo. <laughs> I, don't know. I think I enjoy it. Okay, so I think we all have to agree though. Yes. What is. I think we need to set like a standard. Mm-hmm. What is the. What would be the, the C tier, the average tier? What's our like bar going to be? C? Of what's better than. Because we need to compare it to. Because everything's just going to come down to, oh, is it better than me- or worse than the middle Something exactly tier? mediocre. Exactly like Wendy's. Fuck you. No. no. You- Wendy's is completely mediocre. How Wendy's- fucking dare you? Wendy's isn't... I don't no. know. Wendy's it's is a overpriced. different spot It's overpriced. It's small. The fries are pretty garbage. No. Do you know what's even... No. Wendy's, I think, is a little bit above that. It's it's mm. oh, it's not bad. They have the spicy chicken nuggets, which are pretty good. It kind of makes it B tier for me. Mm. Do you know what is the definition, though, of mediocre? What? Uh, Dairy Queen. Yes, overpriced. It's Dairy Queen. Not that great. Yeah. Well, the, I, I really like the blizzards because that's all. That's they have all they have. Every, the food there, though. Yeah. It's Trash. mediocre yeah. at best. Mm-hmm. I think I think Dairy Queen's gonna be our baseline for this. I agree. Everything has to be. Is it if we go there? Is it gonna be better than Dairy Queen, or worse than Dairy Queen? Oh. I would argue good. Dairy Queen's less than mediocre. Like their, their I don't know, Blizzard's like, the only thing. Their food is no, like their it's food fine. is uninspiring. It's just it's, fine, you yeah. know. Like if this is how I see Dairy Queen. The problem with Dairy Queen isn't the food itself. It's how much it costs to buy that food. Yeah, like they're like, oh, you want a burger that you're gonna forget in two minutes because it's the most bleh thing ever. That'll be yeah. nine dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But okay, so <laughs> if C tier is gonna be. Derek Quinn, I feel like that's a good baseline. Yeah. If you could kind of argue it a little bit, it could be D tier, but yeah. I think it kind of fits in that gray area almost. Yeah. Let's move on to Wendy's then. Is Wendy's better than Dairy Queen? Yes. No. Yes. Ooh, no. This is a hard one. I got the list up. Wait. Okay. So 
Dairy Queen. What list is that? What letter? C. Dairy C. Queen is C. We'll yeah, put it that's going to be our middle ground. So we'll go for, we'll go from like S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. Yeah, and anyone that we don't know, we'll put on the mystery line. Okay. Okay. So there's – wait, go, go to the top for a second. So we have personal favorites, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Okay. All right. So okay, the so first one we have to debate is Arby's. Oh, Arby's, Arby's is a tough one. Arby's is B. Because there's – here's the thing. <sighs> We we go a lot because it's good, but we usually only get the same things because there. Because it's, I feel like it's the only good thing on that menu. Exactly. I don't know, Birdie. I, I don't think, think it has to be C. I don't know. I think it's almost C tier because All yeah, right. it's got some really good items, but it's yes. it's just like Dairy Queen. It has very specific items that are fucking awesome that you buy every time, and the rest of the menu you're not even gonna touch. Exactly. Oh yeah. Like, yeah did yeah. you know Dairy Queen is has Orange Julius in it? Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. Like that's insane to me. What? I just don't go to Dairy Queen a lot. I think Dairy Queen's just not very good. Jack in the Box? Is B tier. Or if even... No, what? you're right. I you're was right. going to say F. F tier? Are no. you kidding me? No, Jack in the Box is good. Jack in the Box is it's like the, the best the hungover is, food. Yeah, that's the only exception for Jack in no, the Box. No, it's good. No way. They Never have, in your life are you going to go, yeah, uh, you hungry? What do you want to go get? I don't know. You want to just go get Jack in the Box? That's as much thought as you go... <laughs> to going to Jack in the Box. Is, I guess we'll stop by Jack in the Box. Oh, or, no. I'm drunk as shit at 12 a.m. Is anybody sober enough to try <laughs> me to Jack, Jack in the, the Box? box. <laughs> I don't know, but the, my thing is with, with Jack in the Box is yeah. I genuinely don't, like, I don't think about going to Jack in the Box. It's I used to go a lot, but as I've gotten older, I think there's better fast food for sure. Here's the, I love but, Jack in the Box. But there's a lot of stuff there that I just it's so, don't want. It's just like you go there and the menu's so random. It's like, like they're vacuum sealed tacos. Yeah, yeah. My sister loves those things. What? I, no, she gets them every time. They're literally Why? just. You know how you can buy them? Uh, like you know microwavable taquitos. Yes. yes. It's literally like a taquito, but it's no cheese and it's shaped like yeah. a taco. And imagine it's not a, imagine good. a Taco Bell taco, but take out all the good shit besides meat and like soggy lettuce. Stick it in there. And then all of the sides to the taco are like vacuum sealed together, so you just have like this strip of meat and a soggy. Okay, that actually sounds kind of good. It's not. Chef. I want to try it. It's it. The appeal of it though isn't you know. The appeal of it is that it's, it's, it's like a fifty cents. It's like a dollar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fifty cents a dollar. But um, Jack in the Box though, I never think about getting it. Okay. But when I do get it, it's usually the ultimate cheeseburger is one of the best things on that menu. Think about this. They have their munchies menu, which opens up at like 10 p.m. And that's where you get like jalapeno cheddar melts and stuff like that. Yeah, See, that's that... the problem. Jack in the Box after 10, amazing. Yes. Amazing fast food. Jack in the Box anytime before 10, fucking trash. Give, mm. we'll give okay, I think we I still think it's B. Okay, we have a B, a B. We have a what? You said F? I said F, but I'd be willing to go with D. I think I could, I think, would C be an okay compromise? Yeah. Would C, yeah. I think we All could right. say, because it has... It's the problem with Jack in the Box is it's only good during certain times of the day. Yeah. Right. It's not good consistently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a fair thing to go with like C tier. Okay. Has anyone been to A and W? I have. We had used to have an A and W in Battleground. I've never been to it. Okay. Right. It was a. It, I haven't. I don't even remember it. To be uh, honest. Our town in Wisconsin has yeah. one. That's like the only fast food. In I believe it. That makes sense. So A and W, awesome floats. The food isn't that bad either, but there you just don't see a lot of them. I would give it a B. I'm going to have to agree because I have no idea. I don't think it's B. You've never even been. I've never even been. Shut That's up. That's true. So you don't even know. It could be good. It could be terrible. What? Oh, you don't, we'll go to A&W after this. We'll find an A&W. There's okay. no A&W. I'm there sure there's one in Oregon. I saw one in Seaside. There we go. <laughs> it was a... No. It was an a and No. It was not A&W. I'm an wrong. An A&W no. and Taco Bell in one. No. It was better. It was Taco Bell uh -huh. and KFC in one fucking restaurant. I hate KFC. Oh, we're gonna. It's like it. Popeyes, but garbage. Okay, what's the next rest? What's the next one? We're, we'll get. To, we'll get to these opinions okay. as we get to them. Let's go to Burger King. Oh, me Burger and Sean, King. Me and Sean go Burger King uh, semi often. Yeah, we go semi there. Often. No, I wouldn't say often. We go there every once in a while. We go because you get a lot of food for cheap. Yes, that is very true. Yes. and the burgers are huge. The closest yes. A and W is twenty two miles away. Yeah, we can make. In we can make that. Washington. We can go today. We can go. To, that's oh, actually okay. along the way. Yeah, Longview's only about a forty five minute drive from here. Yeah, I have work up Another there. Another one's in Portland, twenty five miles. I ain't away. driving in Portland. I can't stand fucking Portland. Okay. I'm gonna kind of veer off from the tier list for a second. We'll yeah. come back to this. Yeah, I fucking hate Portland. I don't get me wrong. I love the idea of Portland. Mm -hmm. I think Portland's a really cool city. 
I can't stand being in Portland itself. Okay. This, Every time I'm in Portland, I just want to go home. This is how I see it. Whenever like I'm in Denver visiting friends or whatnot, and they always be ask like, "Oh, you're from Portland? How is it?" Portland is great to visit, but God, you do not want to live there. You do not want to live there. No, I hundred. I think I would do that for most big cities. Yeah, most big. I like. I'm it's not, fun to visit, and like yeah. there is some very cool stuff there. But I can't stand big cities. Like it's just. <laughs> And like Portland, of all it, it's just dirty and it's kind of run down now. Yeah, I you know, agree. The streets are trash. There's garbage everywhere, and it's common to find like poop on sidewalks, <laughs> like human poop. No. Do you want a city like that? Portland's the only place I've ever been where I've been yelled at for driving a scooter on the hot, on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Portland's such a weird place to me. It really is. Oh okay. my god. But back to the tier list here. What's the next one? Burger King. Oh, Burger King. You're fuck. Oh, you're right. Okay, Burger King's a weird one for me. I'm going to give it a D. I'm going to go D. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with D. D seems like a good one for Burger King. Don't it's get just... me wrong. I love going to Burger King sometimes, but that's because I'm poor. Yeah, because I'm, I'm hungry. poor, and every time I eat it, I always go, I could have had so many better options. Mm -hmm. All right, what about Chick-fil-A? I, I have never been to Chick-fil-A, and I'm not the kind of... I won't ever go to Chick-fil-A. I have been to Chick-fil-A. I'm sure the food's good. I hear it's good. It's good, but I still like Popeye's more. I, it's like a personal protest for me. I refuse to go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, same here. So I'll we'll just give it the question mark. Yeah. Question mark. We'll leave that one. We'll just. I'm not even gonna touch that right. one. <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah. We oh, have, Chipotle. We have strong okay. opinions on this. Okay, Chipotle. Chipotle is S tier. Nope, it's garbage. It's D tier. I would agree. <sighs> Come on, can we? I like Chipotle a lot. No, I, I it's get it. bland and it's expensive. No, it's, it's fucking Mexican dope. Subway, and they do it in the worst way possible. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Chipotle is so. They good. don't even have refried beans. The best kind of beans. Okay, he's wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> okay, refried beans are great though. Yeah, but yes, he's. I don't think refried beans should go. If you want good Mexican food, you go like Muchas Gracias. I don't even think Muchas is on there, but we it's should not. rate that one too. Muchas is. Oh, Muchas is so good. Muchas is superior to Chipotle. I'll give you that. Yes. But I'm, uh, and you used to hate it. I used to hate Mucha. I told you, man. Because I didn't. Because I'm a big like enchilada guy, mm -hmm. and their enchilada theirs are not very good. No, but I their don't burritos. Like, their, their burritos are. Oh, like the chorizo and egg phenomenal. ones. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. It's phenomenal. But Chipotle, can we? God, do we really have to go? With, can we go with? I would agree to C tier. I, mm. I. I could. I. I could agree <laughs> that Chipotle. Has its moments where it's not as good as the rest. I'll put it this way: I've gone to Chipotle. I've gone to Chipotle three times in my entire existence. Right? Mm -hmm. Once was with a friend. Once was a date. And once they came to my t call center for mm -hmm. like a big event. Out of those three times, only one was good. I don't know. Like every time. I the thing is, you've had three times in your life. I've had Chipotle three times this week. <laughs> oh my god! I like Chipotle a lot. I would. I could eat Chipotle every single day. It's honestly A tier for me. But the problem is we're having a bit of a problem here because you guys have bad taste. Mm. <laughs> Sir, I like Sonic the Hedgehog. I have impeccable taste. You're right. This is who you're agreeing with, Brody. <laughs> I'll, I'll compromise with C tier. Okay. It's fine. We're in D. <laughs> All right. It's in D. Whatever. <laughs> Ugh. You guys suck. Have any of us been to Jimmy John's? Yes. Jimmy John's is B. I've only oh, had never been. One. It's only... the only sub place I haven't been to yet. Jimmy John's by far, okay, has the best bread, like better than Subway, better than what's the other like, Jersey same? Mike's. Jersey, Jersey Mike's. Mike's is so good. Firehouse Sub as well. Is Firehouse awesome. Sub isn't on there. If Firehouse Sub was on there, it would 100% be S. Firehouse Sub is delicious. I think I'm gonna be honest with you. All fast food sandwich shops are at least B tier with me. Like, there's yeah, not a bad no, one. I agree. I agree. Even Subway. Subway is oh, Subway's delicious. Subway, Subway's you good. go in there and you know exactly what you're gonna get every single time. And every single time, it's, it's consistently delicious. good. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's what's great about you know the problem with fast food a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. It is not consistently good. Yeah. yeah. It's so, sometimes you'll get fast food that's fucking phenomenal, uh -huh. and you're like, oh my god, this is great. Other and sometimes times, though, you go to Taco Bell, you get a cheesy gordita crunch, and there's no sauce in it, and it's just the gr you'll get yeah. it. And you go, this was made by a by a hungover. 22 year old yeah. who is probably depressed as shit and, and drives a 2003 gray Ford Taurus station wagon. I mean, we're talking shit about them, but we're not that much better. No, we're not. <laughs> not at all. I think I would be just as motivated at that kind of job. Yeah. Mm. I mean, oh God, reminds me of Little Caesars. 
Oh, fucking Little Caesar. <laughs> God, that job was fun. I'd get high and drunk with my boss. <laughs> like, we would dr- all of us would drink in the bathroom together because there's no cameras there. Oh, Ben, you're going to get your Little Caesar shut down. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Mario was a dick. <laughs> oh, shout out to Mario. <sighs> uh, okay, well, so Jimmy, Jimmy Jones, Jones. I would put it either in A or B. I don't think it's S, but it's definitely better than Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. I would, I've never been there. And I'm I would, sure. I'd put it in B and leave A for Jersey Mike's. I have never been to Jersey Mike's. Oh, Jersey Mike's is... Oh, it's so good. Okay. They have the meatball sub here, there. Okay. Oh, yeah? It is Delicious. one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. It's okay. so good. So Jimmy John's in B. Yeah. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, put that shit in D. D. Ugh, I would even go lower. I don't... I would put, throw it in F. Throw it in F. It's fuck in Dunkin' F. Donuts. Dude, fuck. Their coffee sucks. Their donuts aren't good. No. There's much... You know what isn't on there? I'm thinking about donut places. Uh, and which would also be F tier because of how overrated it is. Krispy Kreme? No, Krispy Kreme is not. Oh, that. Voodoo? Voodoo Donuts. Voodoo F all the way. Fuck I'm going to be Portland. Anyone people. who's from Portland and anyone's from the area where we're coming from. Same with Denver. Denver has Voodoo yeah. too. Fucking, there's Voodoo's all over the place. It's yeah. fucking, it's a donut. It's, it's, it's not even that good. It's not a good donut. It's, I've yeah. gotten them stale before. Yeah. Yeah. This Congratulations, is the, you got a donut, you put some fucking Captain Crunch on it, and now it's fucking... <laughs> this is you the, shaped it like a dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the only time you want voodoo donuts, right? It's 3 a.m., you're drunk, walking along the streets, and they're selling the bucket of day-old donuts for $5. That's true. That's the, the day-old only time donuts, you want it. That is the only good thing that voodoo donuts does. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the atmosphere. I think the inside of it is super cool. Oh, I will say their maple bacon donut is really good. Yeah. The, the, the thing with voodoo is it's mm-hmm. not fast food. It's no. not. No. But, um, because it's a donut place. But yeah. you don't go to Voodoo for the food. Yeah. N- nobody would just say You go for the Instagram. It's for you the go experience for the gram. and for the gram. Bitches yeah. love the, the gram. Bitches love the gram. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Whole podcast gets taken down. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright claim. <laughs> All right. Next, we have El Polo Loco, which I don't think either of you have. I, I have no even fucking idea right. what that is. It's, uh, it's. I saw them a lot in Denver. It's Mexican. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. It's just fine. Okay. There's better places. Five guys, F. Oh, F. F. I don't think you can, I don't think we can put it in F, but I think it's definitely D. I have to D. agree. I think it's yeah. D tier because the thing with it, with Everybody, it would be so good. Five guys would be the best fast food if it just wasn't so fucking greasy. I think I think Five Guys would be ten times better and definitely higher on the list if it wasn't so hyped. Everybody's yes, always I agree. like, everybody's always like, Five Guys is awesome. Five Guys is the best burger I've ever had. And then you eat Five Guys and you're like. It's another hamburger. It's it, a good hamburger, it's, but, but it's, it's another hamburger. It's just a burger. But yeah. it's just a burger. All the hype really fucking drives it down as soon as you try mm-hmm. it. 100%. The only reason I don't want to put Five Guys in F tier is the French fries. No, the French fries are awesome. No, the French fries are garbage. Are you kidding me? I hate them. Their French fries are so Mm-mm. phenomenal. I stand by my word. Burger King has my favorite fries. You're fucking crazy. You're it's insane. either Burger King or Popeyes. Dude, who remembers? Popeyes. I agree, but yeah. Burger King, you're fucking but, stupid. Okay, but look, who remembers back in the day when McDonald's fries were actually good? Yes. Yeah. Remember, like, when yes. they used to actually, like, salt them and, oh, like, yeah. make them genuinely good? Well, that's because they put uh, beef fat in the frying. Yeah, they changed they the recipe. And they fry them in beef fat, and then oh. vegans were like, right, we can't eat french fries yeah, if we do that. Bad. And they were like, okay, we'll Shut just up. make them bad. We'll just make them <laughs> shitty now. <laughs> God. That's, thanks, vegans. Yeah, thanks, vegans. Vegans. What Bro. about in and out Have any of us been? I've never been to California. I've been one. So no. I went once when I was in California. No, I did go one time, but it was, yeah. I was on my way back from Lake Tahoe. Okay. And it, I don't remember it at all, though. The, all I remember was the line was ridiculously long. And just, from and what I remember, I remember it was good, but overhyped. I think it wasn't we, that good. I think it has to be mystery because yeah, I okay. don't remember it at all. Now, there's no Carl's Jr. on there. No, Hardee's. But Hardee's thing. is on there, so. What's Hardee's? Hardee's is basically Carl's Jr. But a different name. A different name. Wait. I, I don't know exactly what it's about, but there's like two versions of Carl's Jr. There's yeah. Hardee's and there's Carl's Jr. So like the West, we have Carl's Jr. On the East, we have Hardee's. But are they the same company? Yes. Yep. Oh, they just called something different? Yeah. Carl's Jr. A. S. S. Carl's Jr. S. is the best yeah. fast food. Not the best fast Not food. Not the best. But it is top three easy. Yeah. I would give it S or A. Okay, yeah. Put an S. What were you going to say, Brody? I was going to say A. <laughs> A's fine. Or S. We can do either. S. S tier. I think Call of is our first S tier. KFC. Well, we skipped Jersey Mike's. I've, have we been? You've been. You've I, been. What's Jersey Mike's? I like Jersey Mike's a lot. It, they have a meatball sub that's really good, and they have an Italian sub that's also really good. Jersey Mike, the thing about Subway shops is like we're talking, they're all pretty good, but they all kind of have the same flavor and taste to them. Mm-hmm. You can't 
put a spin on a sand. Sorry, you can't put a spin on a sandwich. It's the same ingredients, you know? Yeah. So you want to just throw it with B with Jimmy John's? I think all the Subway sandwiches go straight in B. Okay. I think automatically, like even Including Subway. Including Quiznos? No, we'll get, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. Yeah, Let's okay. get there. All right. Yeah. What about KFC? F. 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 Fuck KFC. Dude, fuck KFC. It's F. not good. Krispy Kreme? Uh, Ooh. F. No, no, Krispy Kreme's not I give it a D. I'll, I'll put it in D. I would, I would almost argue C. Krispy Kreme? I would go with that. C. Because... I think Dude, Krispy Kreme... They're just straight original donuts are, are incredible. really good. Also, I think the best part of Krispy Kreme, again, it's a little bit like Voodoo, but minus the hype, which makes it a little bit better, yeah. Yeah. is that you go to Krispy Kreme because you can watch the donuts as they're made. That's yeah, true. that's true. And I think that's the coolest thing about Krispy Kreme. So I think the experience can bring it up to C tier, in my opinion. I think okay. it's like I think C. food D tier, experience B tier, and then you kind of round it down to C. Long John Silver? Never been. Never been. F. F? F. Let's throw it in F, It's though. fast food fish. Oh, good Ooh. point. That's McDonald's. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have a bad opinion, no, but you I'm guys going go first. B. Ooh. I would say A. I would. I think a. that you... McDonald's has kind of put this staple on like fast food, and every time you go, you're gonna get exactly what you ordered, exactly what you paid for, and it's gonna taste exactly the same because they're so consistent. Not with their fries. The amount of times I get cold, hard fries from them. That's true. I don't know. I'm gonna go F. I, I hate you McDonald's. Hate, I know, but you can't put McDonald's in F. Okay, I think there's a reason McDonald's, they're so popular. McDonald's is a is a bad experience for me because we used to go all three of us and yeah. at high school every single fucking day. I loved yeah. it. And remember we when it. we got two hundred nuggets? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I remember. I remember once when I ate two entire of their like munchy meals, where yeah. it was like yeah. twelve hamburgers. I ate I ate one of them. It was I ate all twelve hamburgers, <laughs> like four fries, and like two soft drinks. High school was a bad time for Sean. <laughs> Sean bloated, <laughs> and I can't eat. I can't eat McDonald's after that. I will be honest. I will agree. McDonald's food tastes delicious. Yeah, but yeah. I can't eat it. I just can't do it anymore. So I will agree with B B tier. Yeah, B tier. B. Okay. Panda Express. I S. Hate Panda Express. I would also put it in S. I love Panda yeah. Express. Panda Express. I is going put it S. in personal favorites. Okay. Because I don't think it belongs in S. It is. It's, it's, not, not, it's not good. It's not good food, but it's also like, what other options is there for yeah. fast food Asian cuisine? Yeah. Cuisine with a, you okay. know, quotation marks. Panera bread. I'm going to put in A. I hear it's I've really good. There. It is really good. I hear good. their mac and cheese is supposed to be like microwaved. <laughs> yeah. Well, they put in like boiling water or something. Yeah. I've never we been. You saw the video on Twitter. I did. I, so here's the thing. I've never been, but I've had a friend who went and they brought me leftovers. Yeah. And oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're good. I don't, they are good. I've never been, so I don't know. That's the problem, Bert. Have you ever been to Panera? I have not. I'll no. put it in question mark. Yeah. Because it's just unknown. hard to... Popeyes? S tier. S tier. S tier is pop. Popeyes is S tier. Yeah. That's fair. Quiznos? I have Mystery. only been to Quiznos. I Is Quiznos even still open? Not in Battleground. They closed. Yeah. I know. Like, what, like five, six years ago? <laughs> yeah. Something like All that. All I remember was it was Quiznos, but it was worse. Yeah. Because... All I remember about Quiznos, and this might be wrong, but all I remember from Quiznos is that you didn't get to have the same ch- freedom of choice yeah. as Subway had. Oh, I'll put it in mystery? Yeah. Mystery. Okay. That's Canes. i would never been there. I have no idea. I've been Canes to Canes. Is. So in Denver, it's super hyped. Like, we have people from, uh, I can't remember where they're from, but Canes, I've been really good. I'm not, it's not better than Popeyes, but I'd put in A. I'll agree with you, Ben. I have never been, but I will, uh, I trust your opinion on this, Ben. Sonic. I will put it in A. I'd put Sonic in A. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic is delicious. Bad. Sonic is another one of those things where it comes down to the experience as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steak but and Shake? Never been. Never been. Yeah. Subway? B. B. I think B. those are all the other Taco Subway. Bell? S. 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 Taco Bell is, of course, S. S. Oh, yeah. Taco Bell is the be- is one of the best fast food restaurants out there. Mm-hmm. Wendy's? Ooh. B. B? Mm, I'm I going fucking, C. I love BC You're, Wendy's. Uh, I think Wendy's is a better restaurant than Dairy Queen. But I think it's so close. Like it's yeah. so they're put kind them both of both in C. I think it's a C tier yeah, restaurant, yeah, Brody. It's probably C. Uh, other than that, we have uh, places we've never been. There's like a Cinnabon, White Castle, Bro, I can Pretzels. Tell you. Cinnabon, it's F. F. Cinnabon is Done. not good. It just every time I eat Cinnabon, the only time I've ever eaten Cinnabon, it's always in an airport. Yeah. It's never because I want to go there. It's always because it's oh, what am I gonna eat? Oh, I can either spend fifty dollars at a fucking insanely expensive airport airport restaurant, yeah, or I can have Cinnabon for five bucks and just puke my guts out in the bathroom <laughs> ten minutes later. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> we always when we're in Denver, we left a security just to go to Taco Bell, and there wasn't even a Taco Bell. Yeah, we went all the way back because Denver's airport's weird. 
And that the it's gets, cool. It, it's cool. It's got like a central hub, and then all the terminals are surrounding it in like a circle, and you have to take trams to get to them. Oh, really? Which is super cool. The problem is, we got to ours about three hours early because we no, we were like seven, we were like seven hours. We were plastered. Early we, took a nap. we went through security plastered. We did do that. We did do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we get there and we sit down. And we're like, oh, we're going to take a nap and we're going to go eat Taco Bell because Google says there's a Taco Bell in the airport. Yeah. We um, we get up. We get on the tram. We're starting to come down. We're starting to get a little hungover and mm-hmm. a little grumpy, ready for some food. We get off the tram. We walk out. We talk to Scary Lady. She's like, oh, yeah, the Taco Bell closed here like a month ago. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, fuck. And we're like, oh, can we just hop back on the tram? She goes, uh, no, you have to go back through security again. <laughs> Our flight was in an hour. I was, Ben was like, oh, it's fine. We'll figure it out. And I was like, I was like, Ben, how are you not panicking right now? The line is huge. <laughs> We're not going to fucking make our we flight. We made our flight. We did make our flight. I was so worried. We made our flight. And I got a window seat. That and I got flight. sleep on the floor. <laughs> ben did take a nap on the floor. <laughs> so what else is there for fast food? That's uh, it. Yeah, there's a bunch of places that we've never been or care about. So Bro. Ben, do you want to go over the list again? Sure. Personal favorites, we have Panda Express. Yeah. Because... It's delicious. Are you kidding me? S tier, we have Jack in a Box, Popeyes, Taco Bell. Wait, we put Jack no, in a Box? No, 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 we didn't. It was Hardee's. Hardee's? Hardee's, yeah. Hardee's and Popeyes. Hardee's. Yes. Hardee's, Carl's Popeyes, Jr. Taco Bell. <laughs> a tier, we have Canes and Sonic. Mm-hmm. B, we have A&W, Jimmy John's, El Polo Loco, Jersey Mike's, McDonald's, and Subway. C, we have Dairy Queen, Arby's, Jack in a Box, Krispy Kreme, and Wendy's. D, we have Burger King, Chipotle, Five Guys, F tier, Dunkin' Donuts, KFC, Long John Silver's, Cinnabon, uh, and a bunch of restaurants we didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's not on there? What? But I'm going to I'm gonna go on a little bit of a mini rant here about Please. how delicious Culver's is. Culver's, oh, if yeah, you that, don't know. That fucking fast food okay, restaurant from it's, Wisconsin. It's, yes, it's, a, it's so I'm from Wisconsin originally, and Culver's is like a Midwest tradition. If you haven't tried Culver's and you're from the Midwest... You're not from the Midwest. It is, honestly, it might be a little nostalgic. The food is fantastic, and I love okay. Culver's. I went with you as an unbiased opinion. Culver's is pretty good. I would give it A tier, but exactly. it's not S. I don't think it's S tier. Well, I think it's pers- it's personal favorites for me. Okay. But it's the only place I can think of where you can get a burger with a side of deep fried cheese curds yeah. and their original root beer that they make themselves. The root beer was bomb. The root beer there is fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. Everything about Culver's is like its own experience. It's like yeah. everything's original there. Every It was really good, but yeah. I just don't think it's S tier. Well, agree to disagree, Ben, because uh, that's stupid and you're stupid. Wow. Just be a fag, won't you? Call me out like that. Ben, uh, <laughs> you're lucky you're gay or you can't say that. <laughs> I couldn't get away with saying that, Ben. That's you have my true. permission. You have my F card. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no go. I'm a cop. Cody has off, my bro. V card. <laughs> <laughs> I can't indeed confirm. I caught him. You caught him. Banging the boys. Banging the boys. <laughs> Yo, bro, uh, okay. what's Saturday for? Banging the boys. I mean, right? Brody walked in on me making porn once. That's a true yeah. story. That's a true story. I, uh,. <laughs> I was going to go ask Ben for some vape juice, and I, before when Ben went into his room, he was sitting on the couch, I was like, oh, Ben, can I borrow some vape juice from you? And he goes, yeah, I'll grab it when I go into my room. And I was like, all right, cool. And then we're watching TV, and he leaves, and then after my show ends, I go, oh, I'll go ask Ben for that vape juice. So I go up to his door, I knock on the door, and I go, Ben, and he goes, hold on, I'm naked. And I go, okay. And he answers the door, he's got a blanket wrapped around him, he's still naked, and next to him is his chair... With like a bunch of stuff stacked up on it and his phone pointed directly at his bed and he's filming. And and I just kind of look over to his setup, look at Ben, look at his setup and go, I'll just come back later. (laughs) And just shut the door. Did you ever get the vape juice? No. (laughs) I still don't have it. I still don't have it. I just gave up. Oh, Ben. I've yeah. had, speaking of just great stories. Yes. I, forgot, I told Brody about this story, but I haven't told you yet. Okay. Yesterday at work, uh-huh. I'm outside, and it was me and a couple of our coworkers were outside. And um, we are talking about, we're just talking about fucking random shit, as we always do. Yeah. And I made a joke. We made a joke about, like, spitting. And, like, how spitting is, like, a kink almost for people. It's, it's really? Like being spit on, like basically. Like pee? No, Ew. I don't know if it's, like, people being spit on. I made a joke. I was like, so I work at a retirement home for yeah. people who don't know. And uh, so a lot of... Older people are constantly around. And um, uh, I made a joke and I went, I want you to spit on my chest. <laughs> and I look up and less than 10 feet away yeah. is a resident who locks 
direct eye contact with me. And do they? And then you don't know. They lick their lips. I I wish. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's not the end of the story. The story gets a lot better. Oh. I didn't even realize she could hear me. I thought she was too far away. I looked down and go, oh, sorry, that's inappropriate. I want you to shit on my chest. (laughs) (laughs) I look up. She had turned around. She heard me say that. She turned right fucking back around and looked me dead in the eyes. I still didn't think she could hear me, so I just went and I just waved. I just waved at her. I was like, hello, how are you today? You know, so and so. And she shook her head and just walked away. I was like, and she started talking to her husband. She starts whispering at her husband. She like turns around and points at me, and I'm like, that's when it all clicks. I'm like, oh no. And you have to I'm see him every day at work. I have to walk to the door and go, hi, what would you like for lunch today? Oh my God. Would you like to shit on my chest? I call that the California dumper. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get fired at work, I think. Yeah. It's definitely because of that. Yeah. Mm, I'm I on think a roll. You're fine. I made a jo- I made, same day. I made a joke. Uh, another one of our same coworker was uh, was sneezing, and she goes, I think I'm going to sneeze. And I went, I think I'm going to sneeze. And I look up, and there's a, there's a resident on his patio staring at me again. <laughs> That's not that bad. You could have said something like, come. I think I'm getting cut. <laughs> I, mean, I think that was the joke I was trying to make, though. I think you're just getting all those old people hot and bothered. <laughs> well, what can I say? I have a way with the ladies. Oh, yeah. I mean, As long as they're above the age of 60. I've been to your work. I see them hitting on you. Ben, when you came to our work... Ben, when you came to our work... Oh my god. You left <laughs> after you ate dinner there? Yeah. And the re- the residents kept talking about, who is that cute boy, Sean? Who's Ooh, that cute boy with you? Who is that? So Ben, if you need some numbers, slide up. I'll get you some numbers. Mm. Get you some digits. Yeah, I want to get more swingers. Half, yes, half of our residents will get drunk and then talk about how they're all just having sex with each other. Oh, I know they are. Could you sure. imagine? So with this whole yeah. quarantine going on, we deliver to their rooms. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine you knock on a door, all you hear is, shh, everybody, quiet down, quiet down. They open the door. And ten residents are in there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Like, what would I do? They don't even try to hide it. You have to join. Goes, ah, how's it going, sweetie? And behind them are just like a bunch of fucking people. naked <laughs> residents. There's like ball gags, whips. Yeah. So you're like, I think I'm in danger. <laughs> and you're like, oh my god, do you want ham or turkey? <laughs> do you want ham or turkey sandwich? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm telling you, with these old people, yeah, um, you, you gotta sleep with them. What? No, you have um, to. Think of it this way. Like right? a sleepover? No. Oh. Have sex with these old people. Oh. Get on their will. Become rich. You work at an old person home. It's perfect if you want a sugar I mean, mama. I'm not going to say any I'm so names or anything, but uh, isn't there a resident who's like done that? What? Who like <laughs> married some dude and then he died and then like she took a bunch of his money and then married somebody else like two months after he died. That's genius. Yeah, that's true. She, yeah, she's... Is it bad mm-hmm. if I made the joke where I called her the Black Widow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just <coughs> some of these residents are some of the most interesting people I've ever met. And some of them are just fucking douchebags. Oh, and super racist. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. I had – this is – nothing about this is – well, this is definitely racist. But this is not coming from me. It's coming from a resident. And there's no racial slurs, kind of. Mm-hmm. So we had a dinner. I think it was – Chicken with a side of fried rice. Okay. And this was when we were still serving, like before oh, yeah, this whole yeah. coronavirus pandemic. Mm-hmm. We are serving, and I go to a resident, and I'm like, oh, would you like dinner tonight? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. He's like, do you want any rice with that? And he goes, I don't want any rice. Save it for the Chinaman. <laughs> and I, I was not sure what to do. <laughs> There's so many times a resident goes, hey, Sean, want to hear a really funny joke? And I go, I have to say yes. So I know it's not going to be funny. I know I'm going to have to pretend to laugh, but yeah. And then they'll say some of the most fucked up, racist, or just a lot of times anti-Semitic and like just anti like Jewish culture. And it's kind of weird how like how much old people don't like Jewish people. And that's just so weird to me. Because they stole all their money. <laughs> ben. ben. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> I have a Jewish friend. My boss is Jewish. <laughs> You're gonna get me fired. Yeah, I'm friend with friends with her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ben, you are, are you fucking crazy. I love downing a bottle of wine with her. I know you she's do. A, she's fun. I know you and your rosé. Me and my rosé. We're never, by the way, telling anyone at work that we made this. Okay. Deal. Wait, no, can I tell them at my work? Oh, wait, you can tell them at your work. Oh, good. But Brody, don't tell them we did this. <laughs> that means he already has. I think I he already has. Much. I know, Brody. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, my god. Let's goodness. go through one of the topics we wrote down. 
Okay. This one was from Brody. Could you imagine being a squirrel? <laughs> Brody, could you imagine being a squirrel? That is not something I said. That you is something that, that Ben said. <laughs> And then I laughed at, and Ben said, I'll write that down. <laughs> could you, but could you imagine being a squirrel? No, I fucking can't, because it's inconceivable for our human minds to possibly comprehend ever being anything else than a human. Wow, you must be real fun at parties. Mm, all right, quiet, <laughs> quiet kids meal. The yeah, adults are talking. Yeah, kids cuisine, why don't you chill out? <laughs> Hungry man's talking. <laughs> being a, I think it'd be kind of cool. I think being a squirrel would be... No, I would not be a squirrel because no. the, you're squirrels just, are can't just crack. Because heads. think about this: you would go from being the top of the food chain, yeah. to the bottom of the food oh, chain. Oh yeah, you would go from Ben. Actually, it'd be perfect for you. You were already eating nuts to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what like can I no say? Transition. It's a sack lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm applauding that. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think no, I'd be a squirrel. I'd rather be a bird. A bird? A bird? Well, damn, because you can fly. Well, yeah, birds are my favorite animal. I don't know why. Birds are so annoying. I hate mm-hmm. birds. Birds are awful. Birds are the only animal that even when, like, you know how, like, when a dog's loud, it's fine because it's a dog? Yeah. And when a cat's meowing a lot, it's fine because it's cute? Yeah. yeah. With a bird, every time a bird's loud, I want to strangle it. Because mm-hmm. no. it has the most annoying sounds. All animals are the same. If you want them to shut up, you beat them. <laughs> it's, it's like children. Okay, fucking Michael Vick here. Let's chill out. <laughs> what do you mean I can't beat animals? I thought that was my right as an American citizen. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. It's freedom of if speech. Chris Brown can beat his wife and get away with it, <laughs> I can beat my dog. <laughs> I can beat poor little Rex. <laughs> Let's see him shit on the carpet again. Guys, I have great news. What? We have managed to keep talking for an hour. Honestly, I didn't think we'd make 10 minutes. I didn't think we would either. <laughs> so if everyone who's listening to this, all six of you, would applaud mm-hmm. us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please. you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Bow, for, bow for everyone. Thank, thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. I remember looking at this at like 17 minutes and thinking, God, we're not going to make this. We're going to do Thank God we had fast food tears to take oh up my God, a good 25 yeah. minutes. Oh, away. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think, I think there's something I've just come up with now for yes. the podcast. I, it's a proposal. I think each podcast... We should do a tier list. Yeah. Like a different topic, a different kind of tier list. Or at least just like a topic. A like topic. 30 minutes or something. Something like a main, like we have a bunch of like little things we talk about, but then yeah, like in the yeah. middle we'll have like a big thing we talk about. Before before we wrap up the podcast, does everybody want, we'll take turns, we'll go around the table, talk about what we've been doing for the quarantine just to keep ourselves from going crazy. Some like recommendations and stuff. Recommendations, oh, shows. I am perfect at games. this. All right, this this is what you get to want to do. Every night you stay up till 3 a.m., right? You sleep till noon. Once you wake up, you instantly go minute mark, cross the street, get yourself a four loco. That's your pre-gamer. You start drinking that once you get home, right? First, you watch four, the first four Mission Impossible movies. Then you pull out the box wine from the fridge. Now I've been dumping a glass. Pull that bag out of there. Drink it straight from the spigot. Cut the bag open. Yeah, cut the bag open. Drink it straight from there. Finish Mission Impossible. By that time, Sean should be home from doing God knows what he's doing. Who knows what I do all And day. at that point, you can just fuck around with him. Annoy him, Wait. bug him, have sex with him. It doesn't matter. Two of those things he does. The other one is uh, annoying me. Yeah, I don't bug... Oh. He doesn't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brody, would you like to go next? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what you actually do instead of Ben's fucked up thing he did one time. <laughs> Before the hey, quarantine started. Because of quarantine, I spent 24 hours drunk. No, not 24. I spent a full awake day drunk. Like full 13 hours drunk. Uh, for, for the quarantine, I've been watching. We started rewatching Heroes, oh. which came out in like 2008. So it good. is fantastic. Oh, it's so good. Recommendation. Really good. Yeah. Really good recommendation. It's on, uh, it's on Amazon Prime uh, with free with ads. Uh, the other thing I recommend highly for this whole quarantine thing fucking Animal Crossing. It is <laughs> I can't do it. So no, much no. fun for people who like don't really play video games or just want like something to turn their mind off while they play. Mm, I'm Animal so, Crossing. Minecraft is better than Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is so good. Uh, there was a list that came out on YouTube the other day of like uh, 10 things that people have done in Animal Crossing since the game came out. Yeah. People, someone hosted uh, Deal or No Deal in Animal Crossing. <laughs> like, they built the whole stage in Animal Crossing and then hosted like the actual show. They're hosting a Survivor in Animal Crossing, <laughs> because of the whole uh, coronavirus, people did their graduation in Animal oh, Crossing. Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's super cool, actually. Uh, a wedding got canceled, so some people got married in Animal Crossing and had all their friends come to the ceremony and stuff. Really cool game, and it was really chill. I'm 
going to play it as soon as the podcast ends. Okay. <laughs> All right. What I've been watching is um, I've been watching like Heroes, like Brody said. I'm just my first time watching it. We turned it on. I was like, oh, 2008. This is going to be like mm, cheesy. Yeah. Cheesy. Super cheesy. Not very good. It's phenomenal. You're 100% yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's a great really record. Good. It's like, it's kind of like another thing I've been watching. It's speaking of the devil. Psych. It's yeah. just like Psych in that mm-hmm. it's a bit on the older side and has some of that kind of like older for, you know, yeah. us our age, 2008-ish. It's like, it feels like it shouldn't be as good as it is. Yeah, you know? yeah it it's is. Like, but it's just fucking phenomenal. I've been watching mm-hmm. Psych. If that's phenomenal. I've been playing uh, No Man's Sky, uh-huh. which is... Got oh better God. than originally? Oh, it's No Man's Sky is a different game now. It's fantastic. I've been told to play this month too. I cannot wait then because No Man's Sky is the kind of it's like Minecraft, but in space. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking really good. Um, I've been watching Waco. I don't know if you've seen Waco yet. Mm, I've, I've, uh, people have talked about it. Waco. It's on Netflix. It's super good. It's about um, uh, Dick Cheney, right? Oh, Vice. I saw Vice. It's called Vice. Vice is super funny. There's uh-huh. a whole scene in the movie where they talk in Shakespeare for some reason. Uh-huh. It's brilliant. I watched Parasite. Mm-hmm. Parasite definitely mm-hmm. deserved best uh, best f- film of the year. It was yeah. the best film of the year. It was phenomenal. But uh, that is what I've been watching. That is my watch list and my recommendations for this uh, for the pandemic for sure. You know, I have one thing to add on for me. I've yeah. been seeing a lot of these on uh, YouTube now. So, uh, <laughs> So you know how schools are all doing Zoom classes now? Yeah. Raid them. Just <laughs> raid them. Like, I've been watching videos. There's one guy, he, he'd hop into classes, Zoom calls, whip out the bong, just start hitting it, asking <laughs> teachers just random ass questions. There's another one. They got the tweet teacher to shotgun a white claw for $500. That's amazing. I might just be the, the one where the guy, um, I don't know if you guys seen the video on the internet. I think I've showed you guys it's on Instagram. Of the guy there in the Zoom class, and the girl's like, um, somebody's been sharing the test answers over the chat, and all you hear is the guy go, hey, Samantha, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a fucking narc. Am yeah, I right? What like, a narc. Like, I get it. You want to do it yourself, and you want to get the grades, because you've got a big old smart brain. Yeah. But not everyone's as smart as you. If I was in that class, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. I would prefer to have the answers yeah. and get my easy A. Fuck you, Samantha. Yeah, fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. Dude, I, I want everyone, if there's anything I want anyone to take away from this podcast, yeah. it's fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. <laughs> fucking bitch. Ben, actually, that'd be perfect for you. You were already eating nuts to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what like can I no say? Transition. It's a sack lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm applauding that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I think no. I'd be a squirrel. I'd rather be a bird. A bird? A bird. Well, damn, yeah, because you can fly. Well, yeah, birds are my favorite animal. I don't know why. Birds are so annoying. I hate mm-hmm. birds. Birds are awful. Birds are the only animal that even when like you know how like when a dog's loud, it's fine because it's a dog. Yeah. And when a cat's meowing a lot, it's fine because it's cute. Yeah. Yeah. With a bird, every time a bird's loud, I want to strangle it because <laughs> no. it has the most annoying sounds. All animals are the same. If you want them to shut up, you beat them. <laughs> it's, it's like children. Okay, fucking Michael Vick here. Let's chill out. <laughs> what do you mean I can't beat animals? I thought that was my right as an American citizen. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. It's freedom of if speech. Chris Brown can beat his wife and get away with it, <laughs> I can beat my dog. <laughs> I can beat poor little Rex. <laughs> I see him shit on the carpet again. Guys, I have great news. What? We have managed to keep talking for an hour. Honestly, I didn't think we'd make 10 minutes. <laughs> I didn't think we would either. So if everyone who's listening to this, all six of you, would uh, applaud mm-hmm. us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please. you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank, thank you. you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Bow, bow for everyone. Thank, thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. I remember looking at this at like 17 minutes and thinking, God, we're not going to make this. We're going to do Thank God we had fast food tears to take oh up my a God. good 25 yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think, I think there's something I've just come up with now for yes. the podcast. I, it's a proposal. I think each podcast... We should do a tier list. Yeah. Like a different topic, a different kind of tier list. Or at least just like a topic. A like topic. 30 minutes or something. Something like a main, like we have a bunch of like little things we talk about, but then yeah, like in the yeah. middle we'll have like a big thing we talk about. Before before we wrap up the podcast, does everybody want, we'll take turns, we'll go around the table, talk about what we've been doing to the quarantine just to keep ourselves from going crazy. Some like recommendations and some Recommendations, watch watch. Oh, shows. I am perfect at games. this. All right, this this is what you gonna want to do. Every night you stay up till 3 a.m., right? You sleep till noon. Once you wake up, <laughs> you instantly go Minute Mart, cross the street, get yourself a Four loco. That's your pre-gamer. <laughs> you start drinking that once you get home, right? 
first you watch four, the first four Mission Impossible movies. <laughs> then you pull out the box wine from the fridge. <laughs> now I've been dumping a glass. Pull that bag out of there. Drink it straight from Just the cut spigot. The bag open. Yeah, cut the bag out. Drink it straight from there. Finish Mission Impossible. By that time, Sean should be home from doing God knows what he's doing. Who knows what I do all And day. at that point, you can just fuck around with him. Annoy him, Wait. bug him, have sex with him. It doesn't matter. Two of those things he does. The other one is uh, annoying me. Yeah, I don't bug... Oh. He doesn't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brody, would you like to go next? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what you actually do instead of Ben's fucked up thing he did one time. <laughs> Before the hey, quarantine started. Because of quarantine, I spent 24 hours drunk. No, not 24. I spent a full awake day drunk. Like, full 13 hours drunk. Uh, for, for the quarantine, I've been watching... We started rewatching Heroes, oh. which came out in, like, 2008. So it good. is fantastic. Oh, it's so good. It's recommendation. Really good. Yeah. Really good recommendation. It's on, uh, it's on Amazon Prime, uh, with free with ads. Uh, the other thing I recommend highly for this whole quarantine thing, fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> it is I can't do it. So no, much man. fun for people who like don't really play video games or just want like something to turn their mind off while they play. Mm, I'm Animal so, Crossing. Minecraft is better than Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is so good. It, uh, there was a list that came out on YouTube the other day of like uh, ten things that people have done in Animal Crossing since the game came out. Yeah, people. Someone hosted. Uh, Deal or no deal in Animal Crossing. Like they <laughs> built the whole stage in Animal Crossing and then hosted like the actual show. They're hosting a Survivor in Animal Crossing <laughs> because of the whole uh, coronavirus. People did their graduation in Animal oh, Crossing. That's cool. Oh, that's That's super cool, actually. Uh, a wedding got canceled, so some people got married in Animal Crossing and had all their friends come to the ceremony and stuff. Really cool game, and it was really chill. I'm going to play it as soon as the podcast ends. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> all right, what I've been watching is um, I've been... Watching like heroes, like Brody said, I'm just my first time watching it. We turned it on. I was like, "Oh, 2008. This is gonna be like cheesy, yeah. cheesy, super cheesy. Not very good. It's phenomenal. You're 100 yeah, percent right. Yeah, it's, it's a really great good. record. It's like, it's kind of like another thing I've been watching. It's thinking of the devil. Psych. It's yeah. just like Psych in that mm-hmm. it's a bit on the older side and has some of that kind of like older for you know yeah. us our age, 2008 ish. Mm-hmm. It's like. It feels like it shouldn't be as good as it is. Yeah, you know? yeah it it's is. Like, but it's just fucking phenomenal. I've been watching mm-hmm. Psych. If that's phenomenal, I've been playing uh, No Man's Sky, uh-huh. which is got oh better God. than originally. Oh, it's No Man's Sky is a different game now. It's fantastic. I've been told to play it. This month too. I cannot wait then because No Man's Sky is the kind of it's like Minecraft, but in space. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking really good. Um, I've been watching Waco. I don't know if you've seen Waco yet. Mm, I've, I've, uh, people have talked about it. Waco, it's on Netflix. It's super okay. good. It's about... Um, uh, Dick Cheney, right? Oh, Vice. I saw oh, Vice. Oh. It's called Vice. Vice is super funny. There's uh-huh. a whole scene in the movie where they talk in Shakespeare for some reason. Uh-huh. It's brilliant. I watched Parasite. Mm-hmm. Parasite definitely deserved best, uh, best f- film of the year. It was yeah. the best film of the year. It was phenomenal. But uh, that is what I've been watching. That is my watch list and my recommendations for this uh, for the pandemic, for sure. You know, I have one thing to add on for me. I've yeah. been seeing a lot of these on uh, YouTube now. So, uh, <laughs> so you know how schools are all doing Zoom classes now? Yeah. Raid them. Just <laughs> raid them. Like, I've been watching videos. There's one guy, he, he'd hop into classes, Zoom calls, whip out the bong, just start hitting it, asking <laughs> teachers just random ass questions. There's another one. They got the tweet teacher to shotgun a white claw. For five hundred dollars, <laughs> that's amazing. I might be the one where the guy. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the video on the internet. I think I've showed you guys. It's on Instagram of the guy there, the Zoom class, and the girl's like, um, somebody's been sharing the test answers over the chat, and all I hear is the guy go, "Hey Samantha, fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a fucking narc! Am yeah, I right? What like, a narc. Like. I get it. You want to do it yourself and you want to get the grades because you got a big old smart brain. Yeah. But not everyone's as smart as you. If I was in that class, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. I would prefer to have the answers yeah. and get my easy A. Fuck you, Samantha. Yeah, fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. Dude, I, I want everyone, if there's anything I want anyone to take away from this podcast, yeah. it's fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> One where the guy, um, I don't know if you guys seen the video on the internet. I think I've showed you guys it's on mm-hmm. Instagram. Of the guy there in the Zoom class, and the girl's like, um, somebody's been sharing the test answers over the chat, and all I hear is the guy go, hey, Samantha, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a fucking narc. Yeah, right? what like, a what narc. The, like, 
I get it. You want to do it yourself and you want to get the grades because you've got a big old smart brain. Yeah. But not everyone's as smart as you. If I was in that class, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. I would prefer to have the answers yeah. and get my easy A. Fuck you, Samantha. Yeah, fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. Dude, I, I want everyone, if there's anything I want anyone to take away from this podcast, yeah. it's fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. <laughs> fucking bitch. Fuck you, Samantha. Fuck you, Samantha. <laughs> fucking bitch.